Hello and welcome to Herman's RV Holidays. I'm Ads and in this episode we're going to actually be fitting solar to Herman. Now <clears throat> everyone knows Zoe but she's not um, she's not feeling herself at the moment. Hi. <laughs> this is Chaz. Now uh, he's a friend of mine and he's come, and, he's come along to help me uh, fit the solar panels and you fit quite a few of them and um, he's got uh, He's got um, qualifications, GCSE and uh, Blue Peter badge in electronics. So I think we're in uh, good shape. Yeah, good, yeah, yeah. It took me a while to get the Blue Peter one, but we're there. <laughs> anyway, let's, uh, I'm next gonna show you uh, what we're actually gonna be fitting. Well, first of all, we have a 150 watt solar panel. Obviously that's gonna fit on the roof. And uh, then we're gonna wire that into uh, this uh, smart solar charge controller, an MPPT 7515. It's got ample, um, well, it'll probably fit two of those. It'll, sorry, two of those will actually work on this, I do believe, up to 400 watts. Um, uh, <clears throat> then we have all this uh, plastic. Now, this is the mounting moldings, courtesy of uh, John. Thank you very much, John. <clears throat> uh, we have um, the additional. Sikaflex 512 for bonding and sealant. Uh, we also have this uh, roof uh, gauge, is it a roof gauge? Basically the wires go through there uh, and the hole in Herman comes out the, uh, on the roof uh, comes through there. So that sits on top of the roof. And have I missed anything? I think that's basically it, right? Let's get fitting. Right, so before we uh, before we do anything about bonding or sticking anything up there, we need to test that this solar panel actually works. So we've got a great sun, uh, and it's obviously exposed to uh, to it. So uh, Chaz, over to you. Yeah, right. So what we'll do is we'll test the that the panel's actually working um, by getting a voltmeter and getting crocodile clips and putting our um, on, setting on volts, put it onto the crocodile clips, and that should give us there you go. Look, 22 volts. I think you see that, yeah, because that shows you our panel's working. That's why we need the regulator because you don't need to be putting that straight into a 12 volt battery. Um, because it would literally be you know black to black, red to bit, red, and blue to bits. Really, there you go. <laughs> 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 that day's gonna be all like that. Just... <laughs> We're not gonna get anything done. Um... Tune in Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. So you may remember in the uh, previous episodes that I was thinking about putting the solar panel down here. Um, I still would like that to be put there. However, I don't think it, that this area is actually big enough for that now. Uh, so instead, we're going to fit it right across the front. And how we're going to do that is we're going to measure the distance between uh, the sides, find the middle, draw a line down the in, in the middle, and then do exactly the same to the solar panel, uh, find the middle, and then we can line them all up so the solar panel is smack bang in the middle of Herman's roof. <laughs> What's our next step then? I think the next step now, young man, is to get it up onto the roof, line it up, mark it up. Yeah. And then get it bonded down. And that's, that'd be that then, wouldn't it? Then we just need to 
drill a hole. Just drill a hole and then fill it up to the and, and get the inside, controller. Do the inside, yeah. And then uh, fix the controller, and then yeah, you should be good. Great. Yeah. Excellent. It's very good. So there's the solar panel bonded to the roof and uh, the next step while we wait for that to dry is to thread the, uh, the cable into the towards the battery. Ready? It's perfect. This what? Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So there's the hole I've just drilled right on the edge. That's going to go on like that. Everything is coming up roses. Now we've got to drill the proper hole. That was just the pilot hole. So now we've got to drill the big one for the so the cable can go down it. So um, we've got the pilot hole drilled in now. Um, it's always important to put a pilot hole through first, you know, because you're drilling through a roof of yours or someone else's motor home. So you want to make sure the precision's there really, to make it as close to the panel as possible so less cable run, so the wind can't catch it and it's nice and secure. And now it's time um, to put the hole through um, to take the cable. Now you don't want to overkill this, you want to get as close as you can to the cable size make it easier so I've loaded the appropriate drill bit and we'll just see if we can get that in there. <laughs> Chaz, I think that's a bit too big that one. No Ed, do you think I don't know what I'm doing? Do you know how many motorhomes I've ruined with this? <laughs> Okay, so we have the controller in, but before we wire that up to the solar panel, we've got to connect it to the battery first. Uh, that will tell it that it's 12 volts rather than 24, which is the other option it has. So I need to take this chair out and get access to the batteries. Battery. That's it. God, that's a good connection. That's a good connection. So, first and live. Mm -hmm. Right, just have a look up there and see when I do this if you get your lights come up on your thing. You can travel. I'm going to wind it in, have we? <laughs> what a cock. <laughs> right, let's wire it in now. What a cock. You're looking at me and I think, what's it? Yeah, I'm thinking he's joking again. No, what a <laughs> Yeah, we can we can do that. Yeah, look, it's not it's not wired in yet. <laughs> yeah, I deserve that. What we'll do now is, if you want to look at the controller, you should get some lights on it now when we touch this on here. Right. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Got a blue light. Lovely. Okay, that means that the battery is live. So what we'll do, we'll put this on, and we'll go up there and see what voltage we've got the controller from the battery up. Right, go on, go and pull him off the top, dude. So that is the solar panel connected, but the solar panel is currently covered. So I'm just going about to pull it, pull the uh, box off of the solar panel. And now 
now we have a constant blue light. Wow, look at that. There you go. We're on. A blue light permanently on means bulk charging. Yes, I'm going for it. So we're going to test the battery now. So what should we expect to see? So, depending on the, what the panel's putting out, because we can't test that directly. Right. Um, anything between 13 and 13, 14 volts. I think how good it is, really. 14 volts. 14 volts. And that's really good. It's minus 14, but never mind. Oh, it's 14. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a polarity problem. Yeah. Um, now, if I go upstairs, okay, yeah. if I leave that there like that, and you hold that there like that, okay, tell me what happened. Minus 13, or 13. There you go. So there we have the solar panel all fixed down. We're still waiting for it to set. This is now anchored into place and sealed up. And then if we follow that cable down, we'll go through here. And that's my knee. And the cable comes through the roof just there, connects into the charge controller and back out again. So then it goes down this piece of conduit. Down there, down all the way down there, right in around the step, and into the battery. So we fused the battery on the uh, positive side, uh, but we haven't fused the controller because the controller itself already has a fuse in it, just there, the 20 amp fuse. So it's connected to my Bluetooth app here, and currently, right now, we're bringing in six watts, but the but it's completely charged, the battery. The battery probably wasn't um, uh, discharged enough, possibly. But uh, yeah, it's just trickle charging it now. So what we've got to do now is uh, tidy up, and we'll get Zoe down here to do that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, so this is the end of our video. Uh, if you like that, give us a thumbs up and all that kind of thing. Um, Hopefully that might have helped you guys choose and decide what you want to do. 150 watt uh, solar panel, um, 75, 15 amp charge controller. Um, we have Bluetooth capabilities and uh, just a few wires. So it's sim simple stuff. Simple it's stuff. taken us all day to fit, fix. Stuff. But uh, yeah, don't forget to uh, thumbs up and whatever. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Say goodbye, Chaz. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Not goodbye, Chaz, okay. Uh, well, I said that once. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah, and I couldn't find myself after. <laughs> I've had this all day. <laughs> <laughs>